except a few of these little ridges and rises. They're so sharp, you don't even notice them in the distance. So you end up crawling up here and find out you got two more ridges between you and them that you didn't see before. It's quite tough, especially at this altitude. 2,000 feet, I just get told we climbed since we left the truck after Tacoma's uh, stag. Not the faint heart. Not for the faint heart, but doable. Thank <laughs> you.
said maybe another one, and I don't see where he's at to take a second shot. Oh, fell down. He fell down the cliff. I see another one standing. Where's the other one at? Like, you won't be able to see him. I can see him. He's going to come running down and pass where the other one went. Great shoot. That was excellent. That was a good shot. I mean, that was great. He's still, he's still standing there. Looking at this other one. Is he a good one? Hope you're on him. Here he is. He's coming to view now, see? Oh, yeah. Okay. Here we are at the top again, and it was not in vain. We get into, what was it, 260? Across that valley there, standing on a ledge, I mean, just textbook, standing there on the ledge. He really didn't know we were there. He's looking back down the hill. One shot, again with the vortex. Sco scooted into 24 power and adjusted the range. And just locked right into him, let him have it. He went down in a pile. Unfortunately, that pile rolled down the hill. <laughs> so now we're gonna go down his chute here and see if, where he's at. His buddy's still standing there looking for him. Uh, we were gonna do the helicopter hunt later today because we weren't sure what we'd find. So I guess it's time to call Dougal and cancel that flight. <laughs> so tell him, never mind. Because <laughs> we, we did it on foot. I think I'd turn around here and show you where we came to. We were actually a little bit even higher than this and uh, worked our way around from the other side where we got Tacoa's uh, management bull. And I uh, just figured we'd peek over here and see what we could see. And we went over another hill to see what we could see and a wee bit further. <laughs> and scooted in and put the pack down and drained him. One more one-shot kill with the Vortex on top of the 7 Mag Remington, so. Now Danny's definitely gonna buy it. <laughs> this, this was uh, This is it. New Zealand, <laughs> Journey Hunts, Matt Gatiss. Give him a shout. The co behind the camera. They can bring you on down here to Glen Dean. Uh, big station here, Richard Burton. And they will take care of you. I come down here to take a stag and ended up doing Grand Slam, so. Bring a checkbook, because it'll probably get the itch. Tell the wife you're not coming home. <laughs> we are out of here. We did about a 2,000 foot climb to get up into here. Oh, yeah. And uh, came over top of this ledge behind us and worked across. We had to crawl across here. Um, great hunt. I mean, Ron has had an incredible, incredible trip. I mean, this chamois, tar, big stag, fallow deer, he just slammed it out, man, it's been, it's been absolutely awesome. New Zealand, just these views, makes it worth it. The hunting is a bonus when you come here. Beautiful, beautiful place. Well, I figured as the junior consultant, I better put some uh, scratch marks on the gun. <laughs> and we did, we did. Three out of four animals, one shot. So we're good, we are good. Doesn't look like he's extremely long, but uh, he would be at eight and a half, which is you know, it's all on the hook that you give him. Yeah, he's eight and a half yeah. to eight and three quarters. I'm gonna say I can reach eight. Yeah, I know that I can yep, do eight and three quarters. Eight. So what do you think? Good? Huh? Oh, it's fantastic. Good buck. Great buck. Good buck. Good, Good skin, shot. Great shot. Great stalk. Good got lucky he didn't smash himself on the way down. No chips. He's got a good hook. Yeah. Good mass around his horns. About eight and three quarters. Not an old chamois, but he's a he's a good mm -hmm. he's a good buck. Nice nice skin. Just didn't a, tear that up either. Which is which is insane considering he came yeah, from, from up on that point. Up above that rock off. ledge. He was standing on next to that big square pylon up there. So he took quite a dive. Yeah. And uh Ron might actually have to mount one for yeah, real. That, that I could, we could see it. this uh, leg mount, forward chest. 
Yeah. With the legs on. Yes. The only mounted animal I have at home is one of these. Yeah. Well, this this will fit my decor with no room. Yeah. yeah. It's well done, man. It's well done. That's I'll awesome. You. Yep. you drained them. Yep. Absolutely. Super. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. I guess I'm officially now on the hunting consultant. Huh? You're a slam. <laughs> officially. <laughs> did the, did the New Zealand Grand Slam, so I guess that puts me in the book. Dunk. Hey, Ron Shirey, Journey Hunts here in New Zealand. Matt and Tacoa behind the cameras. We're here at uh, Glen Dean Outfitters. Uh, Danny just put us all the way up this huge hill here, <laughs> dragging us up that wee little hill all the way up here. And uh, we came across a couple chamois er, and uh, moved in tighter. Uh, actually got into uh, 280. Dialed the vortex in on them, the 24 power, and slammed them right in the boiler room where it's supposed to be. And uh, unfortunately, he took a pretty good dive off this high cliff behind us. It's got to be a good 100 foot from where he was standing. Slid down through here and got real lucky that he didn't tear himself up. Didn't break his horns. But uh, we're up here in these high hills. It was it was quite a trek. It's slippy. It's not for the faint of heart, but you could do it. I mean, if you take your time, you could. Anybody that's a reasonable hunter, this is not an un, this is a doable hunt for something that you wouldn't be able to find someplace else. And this is free range; they're on their own. Uh, we tracked them down into here. Made a probably went five seven hundred yards, I guess, to close the distance from originally when we saw them. Came across these shales to recover them. It's, it was a bit of an effort, it's a little a little shaky. You got to be real careful, but not not an impossible thing to do for anybody that's uh, in reasonably good shape. But you need to get a hold of Matt uh, at journeyhunts.com and uh, he can hook you up, send you down here to see Richard Burton and this huge spread of stuff. And uh, one of the, there's several guides here that are all good. You can even do this with the helicopter. We were actually going to do that later, but we were up here halfway for Tacoa's stag and we figured we'd go that wee bit further and uh, top the crest of the hill because uh, the weather looked like it might be closing in on us and getting a little bit breezy so we didn't want to take the chance of waiting until later in the afternoon when the chopper was available and find out we couldn't get airborne so we worked in and did it the old-fashioned way so call Matt he'll get you down here it's a good hunt <laughs>